Togo, Benin, and Ivory Coast have already been struck by gunmen from across their northern borders, most recently in Benin, whose government has reported more 20 armed incursions since 2021. Now, Togo has suffered at least five attacks in that time, though not at all were confirmed by jihadists. So far, Ghana has escaped a direct attack, but it is already tackling the economic and social fallout from the conflict to its north. Like its neighbors, Ghana struggles with porous borders, a weaker state presence in the north, chronic smuggling and intercommunal tensions that can be a breeding ground for jihadism, says local leaders, officials and experts. Ghana's government heeded the threat early. Experts and officials say opting for a comprehensive strategy of beefed up military presence and community outreach to ease tensions and support local populations. A French troop withdrawal from Mali in the face of mounting hostility and disputes with the ruling junta has revocast Western partners to aid Gulf of Guinea nations battle the war's southward spillover. British, US and French officials met with Gulf of Guinea's governments in Accra in November to discuss increased cooperation but with an eye on avoiding past multinational mistakes. President Nana Akfo Addo has pushed for homegrown local cooperation with neighboring countries, though the Accra initiative on joint military operations and intelligence sharing. But officials and local residents in North Ghana acknowledge the growing threat from militant groups operating just a few kilometers away.